Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Bruin Build. Today I am starting in on decorating our little town area and so far I have not much done. Um, I'm just trying to figure out exactly what I want to do um, in terms of decoration and trying to figure that out. And I th think overall it's going to be pretty simple. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do for the pathways, if I want to do path block like this or not. I'm honestly not terribly sure because I I don't mind it, but I, I think it needs more. Also, the overlays just, well, we're not going to be in the tomb, so I'm going to turn these off. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn them off because they're going to be annoying. I haven't gotten around to fixing those yet. Um, but one second, let me take a drink of coffee. Beautiful. OK, so um, as you can see down in the bottom left, Enderman Zero Grief is on. That is just Enderman Griefing is turned off. Um, they cannot grief anything at all, I believe. And uh, so far, I am perfectly fine with that. <laughs> I think that is perfectly OK. Um, one thing I will say is I could not for the life of me get the, um, I could not get the, what's it called? Uh, what, what other, what type of, um, griefing were we trying to turn off mainly? Creeper grief. Could not get that to work to save my life. Um, don't know why. I put in Exumavoids, I put in Vastens, I, I couldn't get it to work. Um, I don't know if there's something I needed to do that I wasn't, just simply wasn't doing. Um, but, yes, I, I, I could not get it to work at all. Oh my gosh, I need to get this course dirt out of my hand, because that's going to be annoying. So, I couldn't get it to work, not really sure why. That's OK. We're not going to be in the um, crypt area anymore, uh, for at least for a little bit. So not a big deal or anything like that. Um, just something that I noticed that I couldn't seem to do, which was a touch annoying, but nothing that is like nothing we can't handle. Um, yeah, so we're going to work around the town doing some of the decoration. I'm going to do that uh, probably just in snippets. Um, so I'm going to go around, put all this coarse dirt and stuff, and then try and bring you back in for some of the more fun decorating things um, that are going to be happening. So just thought I would let you know. And uh, yeah, I, I think there's not really anything to show. Only thing I worked on uh, in between episodes is I got this wall all done. Um, this one did not take near as long because it's not near as big. Um, so this is nice. I actually made this kind of the signature, even down there, um, signature entrance style. It's kind of interesting, um, and I like it. And this definitely looks much better now that it has a complete wall. That one is going to be a monster to do. Um, going to be not, pretty not fun, but that's OK. We will get it done and we'll get it done nice and efficiently. And uh, that's going to be good. Um, so let me go ahead and get going on this here town decorating. And uh, I'll be back with you to show you a little bit more progress than just a uh, these little areas here so i'll be back in just a few all right we back and uh done a little bit of work here on around the temple area specifically um did this little area here i think this looks nice and I, it doesn't need to be super detail detailed or anything um because can't really put a crazy amount of detail or else it's gonna look too busy, I think. So I think this is perfectly fine. I think this does it well. I'll work out the bottom area and put some like more landscapey stuff when I uh, feel like it, I guess. And now we are going to be moving over here, which I've done some work here and we're going to be working on that just in a second. But what I've done is I've made 
three staircases up. So originally we had kind of a sloping and I was going to sloping like a landscape and I was going to have a roadway that just kind of went up and I didn't think that fit very well. Um, and so I'm finding more in this area instead of trying to work with the landscape like this, like this is fine because it's gentle enough and it goes across a long enough piece of land that it looks okay. Um, the amount of climb that we were having to do like right there, I'll probably just do a little staircase right here or something. Um, staircases are just a little easier to work with. Um, and so I think this looks perfectly fine. Um, so we've got one that's a little bigger, a little longer to lead up into the chat, into the temple. And then we've got one over here to get over here. I think I'm gonna put some uh, market stalls right here um, just to make this like a little square area. And then uh, we have another staircase right here that this, I decided I pulled this out just a little bit more so that this could be a nice two wide walking area um, that leads over here. And this is pretty nice, I like this. Um, also these walls, this is just to let light in um, below the in the chapel. Ooh, excuse me. Had a yawn. Um, so it lets light below. Let's light down there. So we're gonna have to figure out kind of what to do. We could just get rid of it. Doesn't really necessarily mean we need to keep it. So I'll honestly, we'll probably just get rid of them. Um, but what we're gonna do today is build up a well. I guess on top of everything we're doing today. We're going to be making this um, here uh, well is what I would like it to be. So I've already dug down a little bit, made a little bit more of a well just by having some stone and stuff. And I've already got an idea as to what I want to do. And this is going to be a pretty standard well. It's not going to be anything special. Um, and I purposely have it, I believe, yeah, it's lined up with the temple, but it's offset from the center. Um, and I kind of did that purposely. So it's one lined up with the temple, but two, you can, we could put like a market stall right here or something like that. I'm thinking this town, because this is going to be a main stop to the desert city, which there's two deserts. So this is going to be like a main stop um, for people to come to before they go to the desert city. Um, which the name is escaping me. I have a name all picked out for that, but whatever the name was, um, Hasara. Uh, so we'll have the desert city of Hasara, and I think that's going to be good. So that'll make this a main stop area for that. Um, but let's g get back into the building. So I'm going to be doing this just very simply I don't want it to be anything crazy anything like spectacular anything silly like that I keep having so many yawns and it's getting slightly annoying uh, we don't need the water until like last um and it's mainly probably because uh it's uh decently early in the morning and I think we're gonna do this I'm honestly not really sure what the roof should look like because we could do this and then maybe stairs could go here I'm honestly just not really sure roofs for these things are always like small roofs are not my forte um, definitely they're hard to think about um, hard to do Hard to make how you want them to be. Um, so we'll do that. And then perhaps we could have that there. Maybe that'll work. That could work. We could have it like this. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Also, I need to go and mend this. I need to mend our diamond pick or else it's going to break and that's going to be a legitimate break. That way we have to like actually get a new entire silk touch pick. Yeah, I don't I don't mind that. I don't think that that's terrible. 
Uh, we could do that just to beef it up a little bit. What does that look like? Uh, nah, texture's a little funny uh, when they do that. So that's a little wacky. I do want to try something, actually. I th think I have extra up here. Maybe not. Um, let's check around. Nope. Nope. Um, honestly, I don't know where I would have put it. Uh, what I was looking for was some of these guys. Uh, we're going to need daggummit. Need one more iron, which means we have to get out the block of iron and then um okay this there this whoop oh i always do that the the trap doors always throw me off um and then we'll do this that there this boom got it now probably uh, you know knowing the fact that we just went through all that effort we're probably not going to even use this um just thought i'd try it oh, I actually don't think I mind that. I don't think I'm going to dislike this. Yeah, it just gives it a little bit more structure, a little bit more um, something, something to make it feel like it is sturdy. So I think that's fine. Um, nobody's going to be really looking at it anyways. So, And then let's get rid of one of these so we can get in and out pretty easy. And then I like to put that there so it looks like it's attached to something. And let's do one more. And then we can put our that thing there. And we'll grab a cauldron. And we'll put our cauldron there and put a bucket there. I don't really know how to change this texture. I need to just kind of look into that. Um, ooh. Ideas. Uh, with <laughs> more with iron um, and the rusty actually will work well we're gonna need dang it need one more uh, set of iron here these definitely use quite a bit of iron to make that is something that I would not mind make changing the recipe so it uses three iron so you save just a little bit of iron um what i wanted what i thought was a good idea was to do this block it off so no little kitties can fall down there um, and hurt themselves and stuff um maybe we'll put it down a block and just in case something falls out oops uh didn't mean to do that Yeah, I like that more. I think this is pretty good. I like it. I like having the iron bar option to be able to make it so that we uh, have little iron, horizontal iron bars. That's something that I really wish that Minecraft just had. We have vertical iron bars, and I wish that we just had a horizontal version um, to be able to place, and this is uh, our way of doing that. Um, I was also going to make a quick texture change, not for this video, just to let you know. Um, in here, here, I was gonna change our iron bars to match the texture of this, except for make it not rusty. Um, so that's how I was gonna go about doing that and I may take it from Jermsies because let's let's jump into I'll sh I'll just show you real quick what Jermsies looks like um so let did I just toss my boots I just tossed my boots um so let's take a look see here right now our iron bars look like this and it's okay it's not bad or anything um but with germ six pack they look like this and i think this is good i honestly like i i think this is perfect for our needs um yeah uh personally i think this is perfect so i think i might just take this uh, this because i think it's done well and i think it looks good 
Um, and then also his, I like his path being coarse dirt, but I think I like his new dirt textures more. Um, so I'm, and I may be working on our path block still. I don't particularly like it that much, but this place still looks pretty good with, uh, his texture pack on it. I'm curious to see, we're going to go into peaceful mode. I'm curious to see what all this all looks like. This doesn't look as cool, but it's okay. Oh yeah, a lot of pink beds have been... Oh, that's weird. Redstone, the redstone torches are one block taller, so you got a whole <laughs> bunch of random sticking out. Oh, this is funny. Granted, we don't have, we will not have our uh, coffins and things, but uh, I do think that the glass is pretty cool i li like i love jeremy's glass all his glasses are pretty cool um especially in vastin i don't know if they're different in vastin but they are pretty cool um and you may hear my dog in the background he's got random squeaky toys and he just barked at something um but i wanted to see what this area looked like in jeremy's pack this is what the tomb would look like if you're not using the texture pack um with the gold stuff it looks fine um i think looks perfectly fine so yeah i thought this was a, a fun thing but i wanted to show you the uh iron bars because that is what i'm thinking of changing these to because i think they're just a little nicer um i may change them up a little bit but i think overall they are pretty good so i'm going to make that change sometime but i'm not really sure so let me switch back to our texture pack to make it feel a little bit more like burn build again all right, so um, what I want to do now is let me, I have a whole bunch of crap in my inventory right now. Let me uh, get rid of some of the stuff and I'm gonna come back with some uh, stall building stuff I think would be good. Um, yeah, let's work on this square area. I think this is gonna be an important area for the town. So let's work on that together a bit as well. So let me get some stuff and I'll be back. All right, so I have some different materials here that I wanted to try out. I wanted to try and make some market stalls, but I want them to be a little different than your typical market stall because I want it to be kind of interesting. I want it to be a little different. Um, so I'm going to do like one maybe here. Let's do one, two, three. Let's just make it three but let's make it come out here maybe is that too much too close too wide um i think that's good we can then because then it'll be a little one space there i think that'll be good so we'll do that and then we could have one there and then that'll leave that open right there um and then let's see where else would one probably potentially be um that there kind of like that yeah that'll be fine um maybe right here we'll just do one right here that's kind of small do it uh let's do it like this right like that so we'll have one there there and maybe over here i'm gonna finally get rid of this think this will be good we'll work out the background portion of it kind of just want to one two three uh let's do this i'll probably make it more stony behind it um but for now this is okay and yeah i think three for now will be good i'll probably want to put more i know i'm gonna want to put one up here um, along this area, probably here, like just one, two, three, four, like right here. I think that'll be good. Um, have a little stall right here. And then all of these, I think this is going to, they're all going to be entered like that. So there'll be a little stall right there. Maybe a stall here. Nah, that'll be too, too tight. Um, so we'll just have a few stalls around the area. And I think that'll be good. Um, sorry, my work phone went off which is not typical so i've got a whole bunch of random materials and let's see that's just grass and stuff that's fine 
Um, got a whole bunch of random materials here. And okay, what we're gonna do is first, let's make the entrance. We'll make this one enter here. Uh, this one will make the entrance over here that they walk around. And then the third one will enter obviously right here. Okay, now let's get this going and let's do, um, hmm, how do we want this? Let's figure out how we're gonna do this first. I think maybe we'll do it like this and then do a slab. I think that'll be perfectly fine. Uh, and then we can do maybe a stair here. I think that will be just fine. And it's gonna be, the thought process is that this will be more of a um, per house basis. And so it's gonna be more like people's houses will have their own stalls. So maybe this house, I mean, it's a big enough house. Maybe they have two stalls. Maybe they sell multiple different things. I don't know. Um, so this one will be stair, stair, and then, man, I think the entrance of this one should be over here. Just my thought. Yeah, that's better. Um, and then a, well, we could do that. Nah, needs to be a slab. Um, stair, slab, okay. Uh, now, Let's grab the fences again. We're going to need more fences, um, but that's okay. So what I want to do for the top, I think this is tall enough to start in on this. Now, these, I, I wanted to try making different styles with different blocks because I don't experiment enough with blocks, I feel sometimes. Um, so we can do that, perhaps. Or maybe it comes up and comes up and then maybe this one comes up as well right like that ow these blocks are so annoying to place sometimes they're really cool because you can get some really cool texture stuff going but it's gonna be um can we do this Okay, this is gonna be odd. Let me figure out how to place these blocks properly. All right, so one thing I gotta say, I think my new favorite block for these things is the mushroom like stem block. Is that what it's called? Mushroom stem, yeah. I love this texture. This is amazing. This is such a good texture and it, it goes well like i almost feel bad using wool I, I i want to try out so many different things with this so we're gonna do that <laughs> i made some more um of these and we're just gonna probably copy the shape of that i think uh we might make this one maybe slant up so it goes up to there that might be interesting so let's do white uh white white uh only issue is these are a little difficult to work with but the good news is that they, um, you can put fences, um, like I put fences in between, and fences don't make them look weird. So you can put like little supporting fences, and they don't look weird. So I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty neato, if I do say so myself. Um, what I want to try now is I want to try some stripped acacia with some various different terracottas. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't see why not. But we can always try. So let's see. There, there. That does go pretty well. And that's the terracotta, right? So we're going to break. Why didn't that change? Huh. That's weird. Uh, yeah, that doesn't doesn't look terrible or anything like that. Um, maybe that going there. And then what we can do 
is some of that, that, and then what were we going to try? Some of this. I don't want to put an acacia there. Let's put that there and then that there. And perhaps this actually goes up here. I don't don't ask me why, but maybe it goes up. Um, and then we could do some of this. Ooh, can you not do that? I thought that's how you did that. How do you do that? I know you can make those, so I want to know. What the poopers? Okay, hold on. I want to figure out how to do that. All right, well, it didn't actually show me how to do that. And uh, what I'm wanting to do is make the all around um, acacia. And so maybe what you have to do is you have to do it like this and you have to actually do it yourself. OK, we'll just continue with uh, this and that and there. And then uh, you go in my inventory. Wait, rockets, you're not supposed to go away. Um, you go there, you, you, you. Yes, now go back in my inventory. Jiminy Christmas. Okay. I don't know if this will work. I'm really hoping that it does. Because that would be nice. Uh, let's try it here. Okay, that worked. I don't know why you can't do that. Um, so I suppose... <laughs> okay we'll just do it here and here um and then there so it's a little it's a little wacky but whatever maybe we'll try it like that and then okay now we have to place all these again it's the only thing about the mushroom block that is annoying is you have to like do this wackiness uh okay i can't actually do that so i have to do that um a little this is a little weird looking of a place so maybe we'll just make it no more normal <laughs> maybe we will make it more normal um this should be regular terracotta this should be orange this should be mushroom actually we could make this stick up also the mushroom block blade breaks super 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 easy so it's actually pretty dang nice for this stuff. Sure, except, yeah, we bumped this guy up by one there and then there. What does this look like? Let's put the wood and stuff around it to get the full on picture uh we'll do that that and then that and then a slabby slab slab what does that look like it's not bad i don't think that looks bad um and then we've got some different oranges that you just plain can't see you know what this is what we're doing i'm not happy with it quite yet what I think this needs to do is I think this just needs to keep going up. So I think this needs to go like this. And then I think what needs to go is like this. And then I think this needs to go. Ooh, we need orange. There it is. Like that. And then we can take this. Uh, let's just make this portion flat. I don't think we need to go crazy here. Yeah, that might be a little crazy, but whatever. Actually, did I need those? Uh, we might be able to reach that, can we? Okay, we need a acacia block. There we go. How is that? Is that too crazy tall? Might be a little crazy. Maybe what we do is we... Nah, I like it because then we can have that stair still be relevant. Um, so we'll do this, and then we can do that. 
There. Structurally sound. Um, maybe we do this because that just kind of makes sense for things. Makes it look more structural. Um, but yeah, so I am going to try and make these. Oh, we have four. I totally forgot about this one right here. Uh, sure, we'll do this one too. Um, I'm going to try and make these interesting. So like this one, let's let, let's do this. And what what what? What block's good with this? Does the mushroom block work well? No, not really. <laughs> um, but the mushroom block is of interest to me. What does this and this look like? Ooh, yes, we're going to do that. We're going to do this one, which is going to be much more rustic-y looking. This is one, two. So if we do white, Brown, white, brown, white, brown. Okay, that won't work. We need to shrink it or grow it. We'll grow it by one because who wants a small stall? This will sell probably bigger blocks than. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah, ooh, ooh, there we go. Okay, so. Let me let me just go ahead and make the these next two because I think that is going to be pretty boring for y'all to watch. So let me go ahead and make those. Um, this one is going to be let's use the hay bale in some way. We'll use the hay bale in some sort of way to make it so it's interesting. I was going to use purple, but I think I want to use different colors. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and do this and uh, then i'll be back with you um and we'll label them and then hopefully i'll texture the ground as well i'll try and do that as well off camera so then we'll probably end it off because i think this is getting a little long i'm not really sure so let me get to work and i'll see you again in just a few minutes all right so been doing quite a bit of work and I got to say, this is coming along fantastically. I am extremely happy with how everything has turned out. I think it's going to be a really cool town when we're done with it all. Uh, that should go this way. There. Um, that should probably be like that. Put that in the path and that. Yeah, we'll do that. We're just finishing up final little touches um, that we need to do. This needs to be, I'm gonna hold off showing you until like a little closer to the end. Well, we're at the end of the episode, but I wanted to hold off a little bit and get a few things done here. A few final things. Oh, are we out of? Okay, well, we are uh, <clears throat> we have reached the end because we're out of wood. So I wanted to show you a few things. One, this has turned out great. Uh, I used birch stripped wood, um, and I think it looks good. I really like it. I like the combination of colors. It's definitely different. It's a little weird, but I don't really mind it. I kind of like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what we should be selling. One, I think the green one down there is going to be uh, a seed shop. I think that makes sense. Um, and then the brown one I would figure would be I was going to do wheat um, because I didn't want this one to be oh, like wheat because of there'd be a lot of this color here and I don't think we I think this needs a, a splash of color in it so I was thinking maybe melons or something like that um and then the other one I'm not really sure so carrots probably just their produce is what I would imagine they sell um not really a place that you would buy like weapons or anything like that so more of just a farming town so that's kind of my thought process if you guys have any ideas I'd love to hear them um, but anyways, let's uh, take a look. First, I, f I put this guy up. I made him. So now we are done with the outside statues. We still have to make the inner portion that goes where the beacon is over there. We can do that next episode probably. Um, I still have to do all back in there and all around. I just got the main area done. But what I'm doing for the pathways is 
mainly it's all path block, but then I put this bark, uh, the oak log, um, but it's the like wrapped around oak log. Um, and I like it. I think it looks pretty good. So we're going to actually sleep first and then uh, we're going to wrap around and uh, we're going to look at it from the entrance. I have not finished the entrance completely, but I think it's quite a significant change. So we, you come along here and I haven't done anything with this road except for you get down here and you're greeted with this. So now you've got it here and the town opens up to you. And so you've got the different stalls, you've got the well, you've got the temple. And I am just really, really happy with how this has all turned out. I have not done, gone down here. So really I haven't done crazy, crazy amounts. I landscape that a little bit closed off there's a, a hole there i think it's still on the other side here yeah it was up there there's a hole decided to close that off and uh this was kind of a fun section it was kind of weird because we had this flat portion up here that you could walk on and i needed a reason for the person not to want to go up there that way so i blocked it off with a sort of a berry bush type of thing and this is what I've kind of decided to go with we're going to use I started using acacia acacia leaves and I train changed those out for dark oak and jungle leaves because we have all these jungle leaves and my thought process is these are different types of berry type bushes and maybe this is also something they grow that just grows all over the town and they they're very similar because they have these little circular things and I think they work really well together. Um, different types of berries growing all up together. Um, so you've got this berry bush area here, and then you come up here. And I especially really like how this portion has turned out right here. I just think it looks really, really nice. And so you can come up here, and then this is the area we were just working on. And I need to put out the pathway more, but I really am quite happy with how this whole town has turned out. It just feels so much better. Oh, and I added um, jungle. Uh, since our jungle strip log is green, I added jungle here just to give it a little bit of uh, difference, I guess. And yeah, I'm really just, I'm happy with how this town has turned out. This feels more like a town now than what it did before because it's got so much more happening. So I'm going to continue working on this, um, but I'm quite pleased with how this has turned out um one thing to leave uh, leave you off on um if any of you have any idea how to better fix uh like the data pack for the creeper griefing or the reason why it may not be working i would love to know because i could not figure out for the life of me why it wasn't working um it was just being a pain in the butt and it wasn't actually doing anything. So I don't know why that is, but if you could help me figure it out, that would be awesome. Um, cause I, I, I don't do da data packs too often, so I don't really know. Um, would be great to know though. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I hope you like everything we've done. Um, and I hope you, yeah, just like the video. If you did leave a like in real life, and if you want to see more and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe. Join the little family we've got going here, and I will see you guys in the next episode.